What is up everybody? I hope you guys are well. My name is Robert Harris from Optical Noise Photography and today I'm going to show you a really cool trick on how to use your cell phone as an external monitor for your camera or your gimbal. Um, this even works as a little bit of a recorder. So let me show you guys how to do it, what you need and let's get into it. What up everyone, so before we get into the video, please do me a favor, go down below, click the subscribe button, click the bell because that notifies you when my videos go up and then you can watch them. Um, all this stuff helps towards the channel and uh, me asking you to do it in the beginning seems to help the best, so I'm doing that right now. Please go down below, click that red subscribe button, click the bell, like, drop a comment. If you have any problems with this technique, let me know, I will try to reply to you and fix or uh, update this video if you have a problem. I'm using an Android device for this, but it works on tablets. Um, it should work on iPhone, there should be an equivalent app for it. But if you guys really want me to do it on an iPhone, I will learn one and I will set this whole story up on an iPhone for you. Also, if you're not on my Instagram, go Optical Noise. It's a cool feed. I do some behind the scenes, I do some uh, of my work, I do all kinds of stuff up there. So please go and follow my Instagram. I want to thank Philip Santos for this idea. He's a Joburg photographer here. He's here near me. I saw this idea on his Instagram and I asked him, can I do a video on it? So he said, it's cool. And uh, his Instagram is at ZA5. And you can check out what he does. He does a lot of behind the scenes. He does a lot of DIY, 3D printed projects. So just check him out, get some inspiration. Uh, follow him, let him know what you think of his work. Say what's up all that cool stuff. Today we are filming on the Sony a7C, which is the new camera from Sony. It is a very cool, it's very small. I'm shooting in S-Log2 because I want to see if the autofocus is better than what it used to be on my a7 III. Also, if the audio sounds cool, I've got a Boya professional mic right here. So I want to see if that sounds better than the lav mic because then I'll do this setup. And yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. And uh, let's get down and dirty and into things. Okay, so first things first, Here's my little setup that uh, I'm going to use as, a, as an example. Um, I will I'll put B-roll on the screen so you can, so guys can see what it is. But basically it's my A7 III. Yeah, I've got a small rig cage on it just to mount everything. And then this is a, it's like a generic magic arm. And then I've just put a phone holder on it. So basically you just need a phone holder. You don't need a phone holder, but it makes this easier. It makes this a lot easier. And then um, the one other thing you're going to need is this HDMI converter thing. So it's this thing over here. Um, and that converts your HDMI signal from your camera to a USB signal so you can actually live stream with it But this is a cool hack to make it work on your phone So we are going to show you what you need how to set it up and how it works Let me just turn this on and show you guys that it's actually reading. So as you can see as my camera is on Yeah, and there's my secondary display you can see myself on my phone Boom this is very simple. You don't even need to learn anything or tweak software, it just works. So let me explain to you what you need, how to set it up, and uh, you can give this a go. It works really, really well. So a few things you're gonna need for this. You'll need a camera, obviously. My camera has a micro HDMI to full, so that's the one I'm using on the, on the A7 III. So the one thing you're gonna have to buy is the HDMI converter for your USB dongle, so it's this little, it's this little thing here. So just a little unit. You get very expensive ones. That one is very cheap. So you can just pick it up. I think you pick it up everywhere. In our country, it's about 750 bucks. Uh, yeah, so it's probably like $50 overseas. So look for one. You do get more expensive ones like the Cam Link. I've got a Cam Link and stuff. So any of those type of things will work. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a USB-C to USB cable. So um, that's this little thing over here. See this little thing over here so this is going this is a normal usb and then that's obviously into my phone this usb c and then i've just stuck it to this phone mount with press stick because i don't have a better way to mount it all right and then the last thing i suggest you get is a magic arm so these things are very uh, you can get inexpensive ones and you can obviously get the the brand name like small rig ones and that's just so that you can mount it at an angle because if i'm going to use this for work i'm not going to want it the same angle as this i'm going to probably get it I'm probably gonna angle it downwards like this so when I'm holding it at a low angle, I can look straight down at the screen instead of trying to see the screen, yeah? So that's why I would suggest a magic arm. The only software you're going to need is an app called USB Webcam. So I'll show it to you on screen. It's this thing. Um, 
it is, come on, focus, leave my face alone. So it's that app right over there, that USB-C camera app, that one over there, boom. And that is what starts up the program. Okay, so all you're gonna need for setup is to mount your phone to something. So this is a phone holder, it's just a generic thing with a little screw mount. And then I've mounted that to a small rig magic arm and then I've mounted that to my cage and then the cat and then that's obviously around the camera you could mount this to the hot shoe like I said before that would make your setup a little bit smaller but this just looks fancier for when clients want to you know book you for work and stuff so after that all you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your HDMI into into your camera and then that runs all the way to the the HDMI converter this you can decide where to put it uh, you could have mounted it here or anything I just pressed it today because it, it felt more out the way and then from the HDMI converter it's the USB uh, on the go cable which goes straight into your phone and then your phone is it's just your phone from there you open up the webcam yeah then you turn the camera on and then boom there's the signal now you can see on the screen here uh, there's an advert that's because this is the free version so the app is super super free yeah, you can obviously buy the professional version and that will go away and it enhances a few little features that you don't get uh, on, the, on the free one. But ideally the free one can do everything. And then what's cool about it is you can do, so if you look here, so what's cool about it is this is a clean HDMI feed out, yeah? So you, you don't see anything. So what you could do is you could, you could record on the camera, if I had a memory card in. Uh, let me get a memory card. Like I was saying, the really cool thing is you could start the recording. And so it's recording. Ooh, what the hell? So what you could do is start a recording on your phone. So it's recording to the memory cards. And then what you could do is come onto your phone, onto your phone, and then say record. And now you're recording. Yeah, you're recording on the phone and on the camera. So you got backup recording. Now I haven't tested how good this quality is, but I'm gonna throw some B-roll in right after this section. So wait till the end. So you're gonna see B-roll shot on the camera, shot on the phone, exactly the same footage. I'm gonna put them side by side and you guys can tell me if you can tell the difference. Does it sound, does it look cool? Does it look better? Obviously this can film 4K and that can only do 1080p. But I mean, as, a, as an extra option. Anyway, so those are my reasons for it. I'm gonna just go over some pros and cons that I think. The first pro obviously is it's very cheap, it's very affordable. Uh, the generic ones that have been coming out since lockdown is a very cheap. The cam links are still very expensive and you can do 4K out with the, with the cam link. But these ones, by, in our country about 750 bucks, so about $50 overseas. Okay, it's very easy to set up. You don't have to learn anything. You don't even have to go look at the settings on the app. You just plug it in, it comes on, push record. Very simple. And then obviously the third uh, pro to this is you always have a phone with you and even if you don't have a phone, someone on set, the model, someone will have a phone you can just record to and then ask them to send the files to you later. And yeah, that's my uh, tutorial on this. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, if you try it and you, you get it to work, let me know. Tag me in your stuff on Instagram. I really like to see what you guys do with the tips I give. And if you have any other things you want me to cover, please drop me a message in the comments. I try to reply to every single person. And uh, yeah, it's become really cool to reply to you guys and the channel's really growing quickly. So I really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more tutorials rather than the behind the scenes stuff that I've been doing, let me know. I'll try and make some more tutorials. The tutorials seem to do well sometimes, sometimes not so well. Some people like the behind the scenes. So I'm just gonna keep doing everything until I feel like I know what you guys wanna see. I'm gonna go from there. I have this A7C for seven days. So if you guys wanna see something, drop me a message on Instagram, tell me to, Go take this or okay, take that and I'll try and throw it all together for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you next time. Like, subscribe, click the bell and go out and have some fun, do some stuff, create some magic. I'll see you later. Peace.